Ohio's energy grid, how does it work? The bulk of Ohio's power is created by steam, whether that comes from coal, nuclear, or natural gas. This steam is then passed through a turbine that operates at 3,600 revolutions per minute. That's 60 hertz. That's what most of America's power runs on is 60 hertz. Because of their mass and size, these turbines provide inertia to the grid. This means that even when the steam is cut to the turbine, that for a short period, they will still continue to turn and still continue to produce energy. Inertia is very valuable to the grid. Inertia is important because it gives other systems time to react in case of an emergency. If you've ever driven a car or ridden a bike, you know what inertia is. Our grid operates at 60 Hertz and it's important that every technology that is associated to the grid produces energy at 60 Hertz. If our grid operates slower or faster than 60 Hertz, then our electrical components that are connected to the grid run slower or faster than what they were designed to do. This is very problematic. Wind and solar don't produce energy at 60 Hertz. This is a problem and it requires that we have expensive equipment in order to be able to integrate the power that they produce onto the grid. Solar and wind add complexity to the grid. Complexity equates to more cost to the grid. Solar and wind also do not provide any inertia to the grid, which means it does not help make the grid more robust. It actually just produces more expensive energy and makes our grid less robust. Mm -hmm.